aside from all the political movies I've been making. I had my hopes up for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness for months. Ever since I saw it, I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. Looking at it, I was like, there's so much potential here to really fuck with the imagination and just really run wild. From the first 10 seconds of the film, it's a 16 year old girl running in a jean jacket that's never been in a movie before. What the fuck? Now all of a sudden, she makes star-shaped portals to different universes. <laughs> Cause <laughs> like that isn't a cue that they're running out of their imagination. She can't control this ability, but she can make star-shaped portals. <laughs> the next scene, let's fight an octopus. Okay, we're gonna put this girl on the ledge of a building and let her stomp on it. Brilliant writing. It's the entire film. I'm wondering what the fuck is she doing in this movie? This is her first movie. This girl, she's 16 years old. In a jean jacket, okay? Just, let's, let's just, every Marvel movie in the past and henceforth, let's edit them all. Add a teenager in a jean jacket. Maybe then you might grasp why you look like a fucking dutz when you're gonna make a film like this. And then, uh, <laughs> it just gets worse from here. Fifty <laughs> percent of the film is about the Scarlet Witch, which, to which, uh, whatever her name is, you know, the sister of the twins from the '90s, Full House. I remember that name. <laughs> I think her name's Elizabeth. She really acclimated to her role. She became more dedicated and actually delved into the dedication. Horrible actress in all the other films. But the character developed more complexly in her acting persona. Except for the fact that the Scarlet Witch is sexually frustrated and her biological clock is ticking. So all of the universes in the multiverse where we're introduced to this vast infinite potential is dependent upon <laughs> this fucking woman feeding anti-feminism. <laughs> it's pathetic. Oh my god, it's so bad. And then it's like, I have a right to have children. The children are horrible, alone, on their own. But if you really want to know why this film sucks, then tell you, make a drinking game. And every time America Chavez makes an expression of her face without a line, no words, just they cut to her, and she makes it make some sort of face and oftentimes it'll be like two different faces a few seconds apart take a shot if you die from alcohol poisoning i win i'm right because you're gonna drink a liter of alcohol in under 30 minutes <laughs> it's it's so fucking pointless i found myself wondering what's she gonna what 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 sort of face is she gonna make next I don't know, man. Somebody went to this girl's on a sitcom with Raven What's Her Bitch from fucking 2000s. And they thought, oh my god. Let's put her in a 20 year fucking franchise that has been built up since the fucking 60s to this point where people invest billions of dollars who's never been in a movie. And make her a leading role. This is great. 
it is racial discrimination to deny this Mexican American the right to be a leading role in this film. She's never been in a movie before. How many auditions has she had? I don't fucking know, but all I know is she don't belong in this movie from the split second. Let's watch this girl run in a line with this interdimensional demon fucking monster thing that's just so incapable of catching this little girl who's clearly not trained or worked out. Can she she has so many curves on her body. I mean if you understand when a woman starts to develop, like when they're run when they're young and their bones are developing, they, they, they have a hard time running, right? So you can see that. I mean it's not even like you could have gone to any high school in the country and found somebody that can actually run around a track to run the first 30 seconds of the film. You know what I mean? And make it believable. Ugh! How much money do they waste on this travesty? It is, what do they call that? There's a, there's a word that is really good for explaining just a scandal. It's a fucking scandal. It's a scandal. <laughs> what the fuck? Man, come on. This movie could have been so brilliant. You cut out that girl who who gets to sit in a cafe and eat a piece of pizza because they think that's witty or something. I can travel with the multiverse. How the fuck can you do that? The fucking wizards can't even figure it out. No backstory. So they come up with this as as a filler to a lack of imagination. Let's be honest. It's a lack of imagination. They have no creativity. They don't understand the basics of physics. They never even thought to consult a physicist. How could you ever have millions of infinite amounts of universes? How could you travel between them? No. We're tired of Tony Stark. We're tired of intelligence. Let's just have an inner, inner universal dimensional being that is a 16 year old in a jean jacket. Mind bogglingly fucking incompetent.